we're gonna get started. So everybody go ahead and come onto your mat. We're gonna be doing some crow poses in our practice today. So making sure to kind of take care of your body, take care of what you need, what's comfortable for you. Remember to challenge yourself, but also take a second to hold back um, and notice what your body really actually needs. Um, so in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, Emotional Fluency, which is why I'm offering this for Fit Pros today, we're really gonna take some time to check into our body, check in with ourself, notice how we're feeling. I know that when I bring up the term crow pose, it's an arm balance, there might be a little bit of fear there, a little bit of uncertainty, but know that it's okay for that to exist in your body. Um, welcome it, invite it in, but don't let it consume you. There's a lot to say with you know the yin and the yang, the darkness and the light, like being able to integrate the both together in order to use that fear to drive us to courage, drive us to um, you know that crow pose, that balance. So um, we're gonna get started in Supta Baddha Konasana. Uh, soles of the feet touching, knees open wide, arms either on your heart and on your belly or maybe reach the arms over the head, okay? So Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet to touch. Go ahead and lay on your back. Get one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly arms over the head, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then take a moment to check in with your breath. Without any judgment of the breath, just inhale and exhale deeply in and out of the nose. Coming into your body, setting that intention what brought you to your mat today, this Friday at 12 o'clock? Maybe it is 3 p.m. on Eastern time. Wherever you might be, why did you show up? And then whatever is the first thing that comes to your mind, go ahead and hold on to that as we move and flow through our practice today. We're gonna to begin together to you know, bring that awareness to your body with the breath. So letting go of all of your air through your nose and then take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, sigh everything out. Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, big inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. And starting to create a breath that feels good for you and your body in this moment. It might be that ujjayi breath, constricting the back of the throat, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, allowing that beautiful ocean-like wave to play at the back of your throat. Once you have that beautiful breath for yourself, we'll start to begin. You're welcome to keep the eyes closed. Maybe you start to flutter them open. We're gonna release those hands down towards the thighs and start to pull those knees together as if you're closing a book. Give your knees a hug into your chest. Maybe take a little rock side to side. Good. and then go ahead and lower those feet down onto the mat. We're gonna take both hands up towards the ceiling, palms facing up. Good, so really press your fingers, your palms up to the ceiling as if it were falling on you and you're trying to press it away. But instead of rounding through the shoulders, I want you to press the shoulders down into the back or down onto your mat. 
Good. So those arms are strong and active now. Bring your big toes to touch. Come on your tippy toes. Let those knees open wide as if you're coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. And we're going to take a couple crunches here. So on your next inhale, I want you to inhale, crunch those knees all the way as close to the armpits as you can, lifting the tailbone off of the mat. Exhale, lower it down, tap your toes. Good. Inhale, crunch those knees all the way as close into the armpits as you can. Exhale, tap those toes. Good, keep those arms active. Three more, inhale. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale, good, last one. Inhale, we're gonna hold it here. Crunch in as tight as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for three, two, and one, exhale, release, release the hands out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana, three breaths here, inhale, through the nose, exhale, through the nose, two more, last one, Beautiful. Again, take those hands to the thighs, close your knees like a book, hug your knees into the chest, this time rocking up and down the spine. Big rocks up and down, about three or four here. And then on that last one, we're going to cross at the ankles and roll your way forward into a tabletop position. You might need to readjust yourself on your mat. Get those fingers open wide, your hips stacked over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. Looking down on your mat, we'll begin with our cat cows. As you inhale, drop that belly, lift the heart in the chest. Exhale, tuck your chin to your heart, round through the spine. Good, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart in the chest. Exhale, chin to heart, round. Two more, just like that. Go at your own pace, with your own breath. Feeling that ebb and flow in the spine. And then eventually, meeting all the way back in a nice neutral tabletop, you're looking down on your mat. We'll set up our down dog. Fingers are open wide, tuck your toes under. Lift those hips up nice and high. Downward facing dog. We're well, starting here with some movement in your body, taking that free movement, bending into one knee, then the other, swaying those hips side to side. And again, allowing the mind to quiet here and really check in with your body. What does this posture want? What does it need from you? And eventually we'll find some stillness, melting both of those heels to the ground, chest back to your thighs, fingertips open wide, pressing down equally into the palms of your hands. If you need to take a little bend in the knees, go ahead and take that. Hips and tailbone lift higher to the sky. Maybe you begin to melt the heels to the ground, gaze back at your toes and breathe. Big inhales and exhales. Noticing when the posture becomes challenging, the urge to want to move, to want to release. But what happens if we quiet those thoughts? We sit for a second longer. Maybe it becomes just a little bit easier. Good, our next inhale, we're gonna come high onto those tippy toes, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, shift back, down dog. Inhale, high to your tippy toes, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, shift back, down dog. One more time, inhale, roll forward, high plank. Good, heel over the toes, shift your shoulders slightly over those wrists, core engage, slight rounding in the upper back as if you were in that cat pose. Hold, three, two, one, from here, we're lowering all the way to the belly, bend through those elbows, keep them hugged in close to the body as you lower all the way down. Release those toes behind you, adding in our shoulder stretch. Left arm extends out to the left, palm facing down. Get your ear on the mat and then start to peel that right side body open. Good, rolling onto one side. Right hand drops behind you, right foot drops behind you. Breathe for three two 
and one coming all the way back through center same thing on the other side right arm extends out to the right god peel that left side body open relaxing down here breathing beautiful And very slowly, we'll come all the way back through center. Your hands are by your chest, gazing down on the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, peel the heart and the chest off of the mat. Exhale, lower forehead to your mat. Inhale, baby cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, baby cobra. This time you're pressing those toenails down into the mat. You're using the lower back to lift you an inch higher. Then hover those hands off of the ground. Breathe for three, two, and one. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes under, pressing up high plank. Shift back, downward facing dog. Good, breathe here for three. Breathing for two. And for one, bend through those knees, look to the top of your mat, walk those feet all the way forward. We're in a ragdoll pose here, feet are hip width distance apart. We'll take one inhale for a halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Reach for opposite elbows, let the head go, let the neck go. Take a moment to sway side to side. This is where we get the opportunity to release anything that is on your mind that does not serve you in your practice. All the thoughts of what you have to do after this, let it go. All the thoughts of what you did before this, let that go. All the thoughts of what is she gonna do in this practice today, let that go and just let your body flow freely. Release those hands heavy to the ground. Watch as all that stress and tension releases from your fingertips, maybe you dust them off. Leave them on your mat as you find a little bit of a bend in your knees. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time as you watch and leave all of those thoughts behind. The shoulders will roll back, the head and the neck come last. You're gazing forward into a new beginning, a new moment for yourself to just check in with your body, to take care of your mind, your heart, your soul through this practice today. Next inhale, sweep those arms up and over the head, bring your palms to touch. Exhale your hands down to heart center. God, we'll seal that intention in here, bow your head to your heart. Seal it in, take it in, and we'll begin with our half salutations. Inhale, arms sweep up and over the head, extended to dasana. Exhale, bow down, forward fold, uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, rise all the way to the top, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, bow down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to the top, reach up, look up. Exhale, bow down, forward fold. Last time through, inhale, halfway lift. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to the top, adding in our side body stretch. Right hand reaches for that left wrist. Take a pull up and then over to the right. Press down into your left foot. Press your left hip over to the left wall. Gaze up and underneath your left arm. Pull back through center. Left hand pulls on the right wrist. Reach up and over to the left. Gaze underneath that right arm. Inhale, back through center, baby back bend. Cactus your arms, press your hips towards the top of your mat, reach the heart up to the sky. And then inhale, back through center, adding in our full sun A. Exhale, bow down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing urdhva mukha. Downward facing adho mukha. Breathing here for three. Breathing for two. And for one, at the bottom of your exhale, bend those knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise all the way to the top, reaching up, looking up. Remember your breath, connecting with your breath. Dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands. Step back, high plank, mindful movement. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing, those thighs are lifted off of the mat. Downward facing, lift your hips back and up. Three breaths. At any point when the mind wanders, just come back to the breath. Know that it's normal. Even as I practice, my mind wanders. As I teach, my mind wanders. So know that that is normal. The process of meditation is just being able to pull yourself back to the breath, to recognize the body, recognize what you're feeling. At the bottom of your next exhale, bend those knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way to the top, reach up. Adding in here, exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, this time we're gonna plant our hands down onto the mat, step your left foot back, lower your knee, release the toes behind you, and then sweep the arms over the head. Low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Shoulders peel down your back, gaze forward, reach up high in the fingertips, and breathe. Feel that left hip and psoas peeling open. Feel that heart opening to the sky, welcoming in some light, some love, some gratitude for being able to practice today. Exhale, lower your hands to the mat, half split, half Hanumanasana, straighten that right leg. Good, dig your heel into the mat, flex your toes towards your face, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Breathing here for three. Breathing for two. And for one, keep your hands on the mat, re-bend into that right knee. We're gonna kick it back behind us into a tabletop position with your right leg extended long. Left arm reaches forward, find a balance here. You're welcome to stay here or adding your core. Exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull elbow to knee. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull elbow to knee. Perfect, reach back. Again, option to stay here, or maybe add in your tiger pose, bend into that right knee, left hand swings back for your foot, kick into your foot, open up that heart and chest. Tiger pose for three, two, and one. Release your left hand, right leg stays long behind you, tuck the left toes under, three-legged down dog, lift up and back, hold. Hip squared off, shoulders squared off, heel pressing against the back wall, toes flex to the mat, and then exhale, step that right foot in between your hand. Left foot steps to meet the right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Extended to Dasana, reach up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, right foot steps back this time, lower your knee, release the toes, and then reach those arms up and over the head, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Now notice here that every side of the body is different. You might be able to go deeper here. You might not be able to go as deep as the other side, but there's no judgment of the body. Just understand and know that is okay. We'll never be fully symmetrical. Holding that, understanding that, acknowledging that we're working towards just bringing everything together no matter what. Exhale those hands to the mat. Straighten that left leg. Half split, half Hanumanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So the idea of getting everything to work together in harmony without knowing that it doesn't have to be the same. One more breath here. And then take a bend into that left knee, keeping those hands on the ground. Kick the left foot behind you. Good, adding in here, left arm extends forward. 
Hips squared off, thumb facing up, find that balance. We'll inhale together. Exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch elbow to knee. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, reaching back, staying here or bending into that left knee, right hand swings back. Kick into your foot, open up that heart and chest, breathe for three, two, one, release that right hand, left leg kicks back behind you, tuck the right toes under, three-legged down dog, lift the hips up and back. Again, keep those hips squared off, shoulders squared off, pressing equally down into the palms of the hands. One more breath. Uh, exhale, step that left foot in between your hand. Right foot steps forward to meet the left foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, extended to Dasana, reach your arms up. And then exhale, take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Close your eyes, take a moment to check in with your body, check in with yourself. Gathering your thoughts, remembering that intention. We're gonna get into some deeper flows. So when the mind is challenged, just know what's going on in the body. Feel the sensations of wanting to release, but having the courage to just dive a little bit deeper. Next, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Both arms reach over the head, sit those hips back. Tailbone tucked under, weight goes into your heels. Lift all 10 toes off the mat as you sit lower. Feel that burn in the thighs, the burn in the hips, but sit lower again. Good, challenging the mind. Good, breathe. One more breath. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, step or hop back through your chaturanga. We're going to sun B. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right away, inhale that right leg up high. Everything stays squared off. Exhale, step that right foot in between your hand. Back heel lowers, heel to heel alignment, hips squared off to the top of your mat, arms sweep up and over the head. Virabhadrasana, warrior one. So what happens when you think about a warrior here? The first thoughts that maybe come to mind, strength, courage, power, those are all the things that we maybe see on the outside of a warrior. But what about internally? What's going on there? Maybe peace, calm, that sense of focus. God. Can you integrate all of that together? Even the fear. Breathe, one more breath, and then exhale both hands to the ground. High to low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg inhale, reach it up high. Exhale, step it in between your hand. Lower the right heel down, warrior one, rise. Hips squared off. Relax through those shoulders, gaze forward. Integrate everything together. The worry, the fear of how long are we gonna stay in this posture? Can we shift that into power, strength, focus, calm? Sit an inch lower. How do you feel in this posture? Maybe there's a mirror in front of you. You see yourself, you smile at yourself. Exhale, lower those hands to the ground. High to low. Up dog. Down dog, three breaths in down dog, big inhale, big exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, at the bottom of that exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward, inhale to your halfway lift, exhale, fold, Inhale, rise all the way to the top. Reach those arms over the head. Exhale, sit low, chair pose. We're going through one breath, 
one movement here. Tuck that tailbone under, weight goes back into your heels, gaze up and between the fingertips, and we will begin with an inhale as you sit lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, step or hop back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Adho Mukha, downward facing right away. Inhale, right leg, reach it up high. Exhale, step it in between your hand. Warrior one for the inhale, rise. Find that flow here. Exhale, your hands to the ground. High to low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing right away, left leg, inhale. Step it in between your hand, warrior one, rise. Exhale, lower down, high to low. Up dog, down dog, three breaths, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, bend those knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to the top, reach up. Exhale, sit back, chair pose. Beautiful, we're gonna start to add on to our flow from here, adding in that core work, a little bit of a different flow. So from here, inhale onto those tippy toes. Sit a little bit lower and a little bit lower and very slowly start to lower your hips to your heels and then lower to a seat as you float those toes off of the ground and reach those arms beside you, Navasana Boat Pose. So boat pose could also look like this with your hands behind your thighs, the toes on the ground, maybe the toes are lifted, but the idea here is to keep that spine straight. So a lot of us want to round like this. Think about pulling the heart towards the sky, lengthening the spine. God, maybe then lift those toes. Good, and we're gonna hold here, and then we're gonna take a low boat to high boat. So maybe you take your hands behind you and then extend the legs out long. Inhale, pull your way back up. Maybe the hands are by your side. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, pull your way back up. Three more, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, hold, three, two, one, ah, rock it behind you. Three rocks back and forth on that third one. Chair pose without using your hands. Without using your hands. Perfect, sit low, breathe. Hang out here. Three, two, one. One-legged Tadasana, hug that left knee into your chest. Perfect, adding in our balance here. We're coming into warrior three, balancing on that right foot. From here, start to send that left leg back behind you, hands by your side. Gaze down on the mat, hips squared off, left toes flexed towards the ground. Breathing here for three, two. Find that beautiful balance. Last breath here. Then reach the arms up and over the head as you slowly lower the left toes down into your high crescent lunge. Inhale, both arms reaching over the head, left heel stacked over the toes, big bend in that right knee. Again, relax through the shoulders. Notice every part of your body from the tip of the toes to the crown of your head to the tip of your fingers. Exhale, lower your hands to the ground. Left foot inhales up, standing splits. Just for a moment. Exhale, lower the left foot to meet the right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, extended to Dasana. Reach your arms up. Exhale, sit low, chair pose. Tuck that tailbone under, breathe here. Come high onto your tippy toes, same thing here. Very slowly with control, lower those hips to your heels. Pause, 
lower to a seat, extend the legs in front of you, pause, Navasana boat pose, again with our pulses, inhale, lengthen, exhale, high boat, inhale, lengthen, exhale, high boat, three more, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale challenge last one beautiful hold four three two lift a little higher exhale rock it back and forth three times again we're coming up to that chair pose without using our hands rise up Find that balance, find that weight in the heels, gaze in between the fingertips, one legged Tadasana, inhale your right knee to your chest. Give it a big hug. Let a smile form on your face. Check in and take your warrior three. Start to send that right leg behind you, hands by your side, gaze down on your mat, hips squared off, toes flexed, breathing. Use that breath to calm the body. Arms reach over the head. Slowly lower, high crescent. Right heel stacked over the toes. Straight right leg, big bend in the left knee. Relax through the shoulders, gaze forward. Breathe. Beautiful. Exhale, lower your hands to the ground. Weight goes into the left leg. Float the right toes up, standing splits. And then exhale, lower them down to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, extended to dasana. Reach your arms up. Exhale, sit low, chair pose. Guys, this is everyone's favorite posture, right? We get a nice challenge here. You feel those thighs, those hips. We're building strength. We're going to take a little bit of a longer flow. This is where we're going to add in our crow pose as well. So again, be mindful of what happens in the body when you think about adding in that arm balance. Next, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back, chaturanga dandasana. Urdhva mukha. Adho mukha, downward facing. Uh, the core work is not over yet. Left leg inhale, or sorry, right leg inhale, reach it up high. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Hold it here. Exhale, right knee all the way to the right armpit. Hold. Perfect. Inhale, take it back. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale, pull your knee to your nose. Crunch it in, hold. Inhale, bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale, knee opposite elbow, hold. Starfish pose, right leg straightens to the left. Inhale that left arm up high. Three, two, one. Left hand lowers. Kick your right leg back long behind you and then step it in between your hand. Left hand stays rooted on the mat. Right arm inhales for your twist. Pulling up on that right hand. Try to be light on the left hand. Holding for three, two, and one. Pull all the way up to that revolved crescent lunge. Arms open to a T. Gaze back at the right hand. Heart open to the right side of your mat. Good, find that balance. We're gonna helicopter those arms all the way around. Warrior two. Pressing into the pinky side toe of your back foot. Big bend in that right knee. Keep that knee stacked over the ankle. Arms open to a T. Relax through the shoulders. Gaze forward. Perfect. Star pose. Inhale. Straighten the legs. Turn the right toes to be parallel with the left. Arms reach up. Exhale. Warrior two to the back. Good. So pressing now into the pinky side toe of the right foot. Big bend in the left knee. Arms open to a T. Gaze over the left fingertips. Good, inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Perfect, good. Side angle pose, right elbow to your knee, left arm extends up and over. 
palm facing down, reaching to touch the wall in front of you. Option to lower the right hand to the ground. Press your elbow into the knee to open that hip up. Hang out here for three, two, one. Good, we're adding on here. Lower the left hand, pivot onto the left toes. Toe heel your right foot to the edge of the mat. Lizard's lunge, lower that left knee down. Come onto your hands, your forearms, blocks, a pillow, whatever you have that you can use. Just go ahead and come there. We're gonna breathe, let go. Relax. Notice what's happening in the right side of your body, the right hips. The hip area is responsible for those emotions we feel. Happiness, sadness. You might notice wanting to laugh, wanting to cry in this posture at times. No judgment of that, just release it and see what happens. Maybe ask yourself, why? What am I holding on to it for? Now I'd come back onto your hands, add in that quad stretch. A left arm stays down, right arm reaches back. Take a bend into your left knee, grab a hold of your foot, pull your heel to your glute, roll the right shoulder back and up, gaze up at the sky for three, two, and one. Release it slowly, come back through center. Lift the left knee, step that left foot forward, yogi squat, malasana, lower down, hands come to heart center, press the elbows into the knees, notice my back here, it's nice and straight, my tailbone's tucked under, I'm trying not to round like this, tuck that tailbone under, hands come to heart center, I'm going to turn around to face you so that you can see me. It's okay if the heels are not quite on the ground, that's totally okay. And then when you're ready, this is our first chance to play with that crow pose. All right, so we're gonna practice and play. If you've never done this before, take a chance at it, see what happens. Maybe place a pillow in front of your face that helped me in my first time ever doing this, uh, being able to get over the fear of falling on my face. All right, so. Place your hands on the ground about shoulder width distance apart. You're going to create a triangle with your gaze and your hand. So your gaze is in front of you, not behind you. Otherwise, you will fall back. Come high onto your tippy toes. Get those knees as close into the armpits as you can. Remember that first core exercise we did to start our practice today. So you're pressing into the floor as if you're pressing into the ceiling. Crunch those knees as close to the armpits as you can, floating one toe, maybe the other off of the mat. Breathe here and hold for three, for two, and one, if you have a jump back, go ahead and jump back, high to low. If you don't, that's totally okay. Meet us in down dog. Good, use this as your rest. Press back into the heels. Press up through the hips to take some weight off the palms of your hands. And we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. When you're ready, left leg inhale, reach it up high. Bend that knee, stack your hip. Exhale, knee to left elbow or armpit, hold. Good, inhale, take it back. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale, pull your knee to your nose, hold. Inhale, take it back. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale, knee opposite elbow, hold. Good, straighten that leg out to the right. Starfish pose, inhale the right arm up high. Perfect, right hand lowers. Kick your left leg back long behind you. And then go ahead and step it lightly in between your hand. Right hand stays rooted. Inhale that left arm up. You lie on the right hand. So if I were in your home right now, I could slide a piece of paper under the palm of that right hand. Pull up through the left fingertips. Three, two, one. Rise all the way up. Open arm twist. Gaze back at that left hand. Heart open to the left side of your mat this time. Good. Helicopter those arms all the way around. Warrior two, big 
big bend in that left knee, press into the pinky side toe of that right foot, arms open to a T, relax through the shoulders, gaze over the front fingertips. <clears throat> Inhale, star pose. Good. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Hold. Gaze over the right fingertips. Inhale, star pose. Every time you come to this warrior, can you get a little bit deeper? Challenge yourself. Hold your warrior to the front. Good. We're going to add on here. Elbow to your knee. Right arm extends up and over. Side angle pose. Hold. Maybe lower that left hand to the ground. Again, check in with your body. What's going on here? Are you lost in other thoughts? Can you bring it back to the breath? Bring it back to your practice. Exhale, lower that right hand. Come onto the tippy toes of the right foot, toe heel, the left foot to the edge of your mat, lizard's lunge. Right knee lowers, come to your forearms, blocks, a pillow, whatever works for you on the left. And again, remember, every side of the body is going to be different. I'm able to go so much deeper on this side than I am on my right. No judgment of that. Just recognize it. Know that you're working towards harmony on both sides of your body. Harmony and balance, but that doesn't always mean it's going to be the same. Breathe. Three. Two, one, come back onto your hands. Right hand stays rooted, left arm reaches back. Take a bend into that right knee, pull your heel to your glute, roll that left shoulder back and open, gaze up, hold for three, two, and one, slowly release that foot, come back through center, Right toes tuck under, lift your knee, step it forward, yogi squat, malasana, hands to heart center. Good. Again, another chance to play with that crow pose. When you are ready, lower those hands to the ground. Gaze forward. Come high onto your tippy toes. Get those knees as close into the armpits as you can if you didn't try. Just stay here maybe. Good, and notice what it feels like to be in this place of fear, to sit with your fear. Maybe you'll get the courage to float one toe, maybe the courage to float the other, and you'll find out that you can actually fly. Hold for three, two, one, step it back, hide a little big smile on your face, up dog, down dog, beautiful, breathe here for three, breathing for two, and for one, bend those knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold, Inhale, rise all the way to the top, reaching up, looking up, taking our full sun A, or fold it forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back through your vinyasa flow. Meeting me in a down dog. Breathing here for three. Breathing for two. And for one, lower those knees, tabletop position, three rounds of our cat cows. Inhale, drop that belly, lift the heart in the chest. Exhale, chin to heart round. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart in the chest. Exhale, chin to heart round, the last one. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back through center, setting up your puppy pose. Keep those hips over the knees. Walk your hands to the tippy top of your mat. And go ahead and melt the heart, the chin, the chest to the ground. Notice my hips are lifted up high here. We're not in a child's pose. If this is challenging for you, slide a pillow, a blanket, a block underneath your chest, or just allow the forehead to rest on the ground. Uh, the fullest expression is the heart, the chin, the chest melted onto the ground here, feeling that sensation in the upper part of your back and through your shoulders. Hold for another three, two, 
and one sphinx pose. Roll forward, keep the forearms on the ground, hips lower down. Notice my shoulders are stacked right over my elbows here. Pull the heart and the chest through the arms, relax the shoulders down the back, gazing forward. Close the eyes and breathe. I don't know about you, but this feels really good on my core. And we're gonna open those arms up wide, keep the elbows where they are. So there's a V shape with the elbows and the hands. Press into those fingertips, straighten the arms, seal pose. Exhale, roll down forehead to your mat. Inhale, rise to seal. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Last one, inhale, rise to seal. Maybe walk those hands closer into the body, press into the palms, melt the shoulders, press into the tops of the feet. Good, exhale, lower, hands by your chest. Press back, child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees open wide, arms reaching up and over the head, melt the forehead on the ground. And we've made it to that resting portion of class. Just take a moment to take in this child's pose, this beautiful posture that helps to relax the body, restore the body. I don't know about you, but I am sweating. So maybe you feel that sweat dripping off the body. Notice that, congratulate your body, yourself for hard work. And if you're not sweating, that's totally okay. Notice your body anyways. Congratulate yourself for hard work for really diving deep into your mind, your body, your heart, your soul. From here, walk those hands back up to your hips. God, we're gonna swing those legs around, soles of the feet on the mat, and then very slowly start to lower your weight all the way down. We've got three rounds of our bridge pose here, hands by your side, heels close to your glutes, first round taken, inhale and exhale, press and lift up. Hold for three, two, one, lower down. Good, second round, when you're ready, take an inhale. Exhale, press and lift up. Breathing here, three, two, one, lower down. Beautiful, last round, yogi's choice. You're welcome to take a full wheel. You're welcome to take another bridge pose, whatever feels best for you. When you're ready, I'll count you there. Take an inhale. On your exhale, press and lift up. Good, breathe, relax. Perfect, hold. Good, very slowly lower your weight all the way down. Find stillness. We're gonna take a little bit of a different stretch through the shoulders. We really work through the arms today. So I want you to inhale to lift your hips up. I want you to take your left hand, reach it behind the back, trying to touch your right shoulder. Your palm is facing down, and then you're gonna lower the hips, so lower the back onto that arm. So if you have bad shoulders or tight shoulders, this is probably a really intense stretch right now. If you don't feel anything, you probably just have really awesome shoulders. But hang out here and breathe. This is a really intense one for me on the left side. For three, two, and one, lift the hips up and release the hand. Good, and we're gonna do the other side. So hips lift up, take that right hand behind the back, palm facing down, reaching the fingertips to touch as high to the left shoulder as you can, and then lower those hips and the back onto your arm. Good, hold here and breathe. For three, two, and one lift those hips up release the hands by your side and then take a moment to rock those knees side to side 
Windshield wiping them from right to left, left to right. And then allow both knees to drop over to the right, gaze to the left, supine twist. Allow the eyes to start to close down here. Letting the body soften, the breath soften. Again, when the mind wanders to other thoughts that don't serve you, pull it back to the breath. Pull it back to that intention, the reason that you came onto your mat today. And inhale back through center. Exhale to the other side, same thing. If it feels right for you, it might not, and that's okay. You might take something different. Everything softens, the mind, the heart, the breath. And inhale back through center. Hug those knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side. Then we'll come to happy baby pose, reaching for the outer edges of the feet. Pull those knees down into the armpits, the soles of the feet reaching towards the sky. Ananda Balasana, blissful baby pose. Maybe allow that blissful baby to rock side to side. Maybe you remember a time that you were a baby. Maybe you remember a time you saw a baby doing this posture. Maybe it brought you joy, peace, bliss. And then very slowly as you come back through center, bring the soles of your feet to touch. Lower those feet down onto the mat. Knees open wide. Right where we began, one hand comes to the heart, one hand comes to the belly. Close those eyes. This is where you have a moment, a chance to integrate everything from your practice. Integrating all of that fear, all of that courage, all of that strength together into your body. Let everything quiet. The shoulders roll back, let gravity take over your body, opening up those hips, the heart. you're welcome to stay here if you'd like or lower both hands down maybe lowering both legs down and come into whatever shavasana feels good for you to end taking any last wiggles movements out of your body that you need to take we are going to end with the breath the same way that we began big inhale through your nose Big exhale to release. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Soften the breath and feel your body melt into the earth for these last few moments, trusting that I will guide you out when the time is right. But for now, hold and rest here.
When you're ready, start to bring some life, some breath, some movement back into your body, back into the space around you. Wiggling through your fingers, your toes, your ankles, your wrists. Reaching those arms up and over the head. Give yourself that full body stretch from the tip of the fingers to the tip of the toes. Then hug those knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze. Tell yourself, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. And then roll over onto your favorite side. Allow yourself to reroute, reground back into the space around you as you gently press your way up to a comfortable seated position. Maybe the eyes close. Maybe you find a soft spot to gaze at. Allow the palms to rest on the knees, either facing down if you feel you need to be more grounded. Maybe you place them up if you'd like to receive something from this practice from the universe today. Notice how your body feels here versus when you first walked onto your mat. Maybe it's a little bit lighter, a little bit softer, more at peace. And inhale to sweep both arms over the head, palms to touch. Exhale those hands to heart center. Bow your head to your heart. Honor yourself. Thank yourself. This is about you, your mind, your heart, your soul, your practice. Thank you for letting me guide you today. The love and light in me honors and respects the love and the light in each and every one of you. Thumbs to the center of the forehead will end with namaste. Thank you for watching Kula Wellness on YouTube. Please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button below.